So here we are. Um, we have the image. Now we need to get the line work that goes on it. Remember, what we're trying to do is to create a vector overlay that we can use to infill the edges with a lot of control as well. Um, and it's going to have some extra features as well um, that are kind of built into the Rhino export process that are going to be very helpful to you. So here's what, um, here's what I'm going to do. In Rhino, I said that the camera angle was really, really important. So if I accidentally did that, I can go right back to it. Okay, you must save your camera angles. So I'll go to set view. There we go. Okay, so um, the there are two commands that we're going to really learn and explore here, and I absolutely suggest for your sake for the rest of your architectural career both academic and professional that you master these two commands it's called section and make 2d <laughs> seriously like they are so so simple but they are the most the two most used commands in architecture school bar none except for loft loft is like really heavily used too but um but anyway, so uh, the, the first command is section, and that's used to actually extract the line work information that you're going to export. Then the make2d command is what you're going to actually use to, ex to basically flatten it for export uh, later on. So anyway, section looks like this, and um, we're going to have to really pay attention to this, okay? That little box, the clipping plane, is so useful for this because it is an object. Okay, so here's how section works. Type in the section command, and you know, the, all the settings and stuff, generally I don't really have to change them. Uh, it kind of mostly does what I want it to do. Uh, you can make it group or join them or assign them to a layer, but generally I just leave them all alone. Um, it says select the objects for the section, and so I'm gonna select all of these in the top view, okay? Then I'm gonna hit enter, and it's gonna say the start of your section, and then it's gonna ask me for the end of my section. And that's why this clipping plane being there in space and the fact that it's an object is so useful because I can actually cut a section exactly where that cut happens to happen, uh, happens to occur. Wait, start of section, there, end of section, there. Did it work? What? It didn't. Huh. Um, what did I do wrong? Hold on. Section. Select objects. These. Start of section. This. End of section. That. Has it been this long? Start of section, end of section. That's weird. Hang on. Okay, thank you, Melissa. Um, so let me go back to the view. Um, what I was forgetting is that, oh, and now I moved my clipping plane too. Darn it, let me go back, there we go. Um, what I was forgetting is that you have to actually drag it across the object. Sorry. So, um, but we still use the object snap and your smart track to pull it across. So I do the section command and I select these objects and then I um, will actually snap to the clipping plane and use my smart track, like hover over another object and then use your smart track and drag it across. That's where you click your second section line. And after I clicked for that second uh, end point of my section line, I didn't do anything. I didn't hit escape, I didn't deselect, I didn't click off the object. Um, that's important because this geometry is gonna get really messy if you don't control it. So um, I can hit escape once to cancel the command, but keep my geometry selected. And then I can move it off. Um, oh, you know what? Sorry. There's one more step. Here in perspective, 
in the view that you're in, with the frame that you're in, that's where you want to do your make 2D first. Sorry. Uh -huh. Then you want to move it away. Okay. So um, I guess now is the perfect time to introduce make 2D. So we'll do it now. Um, this one's really simple, and then I'll do sort of an expansive one sh shortly after. But um, make 2D is the command. And uh, don't worry about all of the settings. But what you should know is that uh, the drawing layout is going to be determining like where it's pulling the flattening of the image from, like which camera angle, right? So current view means it's going to come from the perspective angle. Um, the options there are about whether or not it shows, um, I don't know exactly what tangent edges does or why it would delete any of them. But uh, hidden lines and uh, maintaining source layers are important to know at least what they do um, because showing a hidden line means that it's going to show geometry behind what you actually see. And we'll do one of those in a bit, but not right now. Um, so all we really need is maintain source layers, if that. Um, and it's going to, these are for which layers you want to assign it to, if you want to assign it to a different layer. Um, but since I'm maintaining source layers, it won't really matter. So I'm going to hit OK. And it place, uh, places it in the top view. And here's the real key. What's wrong with this image? Yeah, some of the lines are missing. So I'm going to throw this out there. Can any of you guess why? Because they're not being connected. They're not connected. Hmm? They're not connected, like they're not joined? Mm, no, they are joined. Yeah, and uh, not that they're not being cut, because if you go back, they are there. Uh, you guys are all sort of like right on the outskirts of it, okay? So, they're farther away. No. Um, remember when you uh, did a render? If any of you had surfaces that were exactly coplanar, that it created a little bit of a graphic issue, either like a triangulation or a pixelation or like a striation across the surface of the materials you were using. That happens here as well. Computers. All computers, all you know, rendering vector rafts or whatever, they're not great at rendering things that are exactly coplanar because it's a physical impossibility. So in this case, what's happening is your make 2D lines are exactly in plane with your clipping plane. So how do you fix it? You go into your top view. I always suggest draw a line in the location that your clipping plane is or was. And what you're going to wind up doing is uh, pulling this back a little bit, just a tad. Because, and that's okay. I mean, you could pull it, you could pull it far, but that, the reason that's okay is because it's not the model that you're making 2D, it's the lines. And the lines are still in the same position they always were. So um, those lines then need to be reselected. You could do it with a window select like this. You go back into your um, section A, do make 2D, same settings, all OK. And now you have your complete section lines. If there's one video that you guys keep forever, from this class, this is it. It is going to save you boatloads of time. Any questions? Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here, and then we're going to do the export. We're going to overlay it and look at it in Illustrator.